Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to install a hard start capacitor um, on a dual run capacitor. The reason you would do this is out in the field you've got a compressor that's very hard to start. It might kick the breaker or it might over ramp or it, uh, it might be in a condition where it just, it's just having a hard time getting going. It's, a, it's an old compressor. Now these are very simple. There are several manufacturers out there that, that have this on the market. This one that I'm using saw on today is just a Mars. Um, it's known as a uh, super boost, a uh, hard start capacitor. It goes by several names, but they're very simple to install. All we do is we first disconnect the electricity to the unit, make sure that, that there's no power. When we're, when we're positive, the power's off. We find the Herm, the Herm terminal and the common terminal. It's right up here on top is where they are. You simply install either wire to one side, the other wire goes to the other side, and there it is. We have installed a hard start capacitor on a compressor that's giving us a hard time uh, getting going. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, Technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.